Ramp up daydreams while he gives a haircut. Firefighter Farah tells a folk tale around the campfire. Did you spot the compound words? What are compound words? A compound word is a word that is made up of two or more different words. Different words are joined together to make a new word with a different meaning. In this sentence, haircut is a compound word. It's made up of the word hair and cut. When you join the two words together, you get one word that means the cut and style of hair. The word daydream is also a compound word. It's made up of the word day and dream. When you join the two words together, you get one word that means to dream during the day. In this sentence, firefighter is a compound word. It's made up of the word fire and fighter. Together, they form a word that means a person who fights fires. What are some compound words? I can think of a lot of compound words. When you stand on your hands, you're doing a handstand. If you stay out in the sun too long, you can get a sunburn. So you should wear sunblock. Sometimes there are rainstorms in the summer. There are compound words all around us. Playground, backpack, homework, and basketball are all compound words. A rattlesnake is a snake that has a rattle on its tail that it shakes. A woodpecker is a bird that pecks wood. A catfish is a fish that has feelers that look like cat whiskers. This is a special fish that has a big fin that looks like a sail. What do you think it's called? Right, Moby, it's a sailfish. What do you call a pot that's used to make tea? A teapot. What do you call a brush that you use to clean your teeth? A toothbrush. How can compound words help you when you read? Sometimes when I read, I get to a word that I don't know. Grandpop is a globetrotter. What does globetrotter mean? Break apart the word to help you figure it out. I know that a globe is a model of Earth, and when a horse trots, it jogs or runs slowly. So, a globe trotter must be someone who runs around the world and visits different places. Sometimes you can't figure out a compound word by breaking it apart. When you join the words butter and fly, you don't get a flying stick of butter. You get an insect with wings. When you join the words butter and fingers, you don't get fingers that are made out of butter. To figure out the meaning, make inferences and use what you know about the separate words. Hmm, butter is really greasy. I know that when things are greasy, they can be hard to hold. So, someone with butter fingers must drop things on accident, as if they have greasy fingers. If you're still not sure what a word means, you can always look up its definition in a dictionary. It's fun to look for compound words. We use a ton of them every day. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and take the easy quiz. 
start. Okay. So. A rebus is a picture that stands for a word. What word does this rebus show? Is it a flower bed? A flower pot? Pot luck? Or a pot holder? Well, looking at this, we have a flower plus a pot. A flower pot. So our answer would be B. Number two. Sun up is the time in the morning when the sun rises. What is the time of day when the sun sets? So would it be sun down? The opposite of sun up? Would it be sunshine? Sun spot? Or sunlight? Well, we know that. The time of day when the sun rises is called sun, um, sun up. So that means when it goes down, it would be sun down. Number three, which picture shows a sailboat? So looking here, there's all different kinds of boats. Which one has a sail and a boat? Look carefully. I think I'm going to choose D. Number four. Mia accidentally drops a vase and breaks it. She says that she's got butter fingers. What do you think she means? Her fingers are made of butter. That's silly. She can drop or be clumsy and drop things. Hmm. Trying to think back to the video. See, her hands have butter on them because she was cooking. Or D, she is quick with her hands and catches things as they fall. If you were listening to the video, you would know that butter fingers, using an inference, we know butter can be slippery. So we know that if she has butter fingers, it means that it's slippery. She could be slippery or clumsy about something and drop it. And our last one. A compound word is made of two or more different words, which is not a compound word. Hmm. Bedroom? Bedroom? Looks like there's two there. Hair brush, I see two words there. Land form, land and form makes um, a compound word. And my last one, illustrator. I hear many syllables in there, but I don't see two words, so I know illustrator is not a compound word. Up. Uh, it looks like I got five out of five with your help. Go ahead and do your Moby dance.